Hello and welcome back to another Buildcraft video. In, uh, well, this time I've upgraded to Buildcraft 7 from the previous Buildcraft 6 videos, but the difference in for this video is not very, it's not very big. What I actually wanted to talk about this time is some, uh, some gate setups that I used for this contraption. If you haven't seen this setup or this con this build before, there's a link in the video description to it. But I'm not going to talk about that, I'm just going to talk about the gates and the gate controllers. So this is not really a gate tutorial, but it's uh, perhaps a few tips or uh, some hints of how you can set up your, uh, your gates to do various things. Okay, so over here I changed from the Sterling engine setup to Redstone engines. It's much better and doesn't consume any material. I wasn't able to control the pump in a good way with gates. So, well, I was planning to, to demonstrate that, but it didn't work as perfectly as I wanted to. So let's focus on this, uh, this fuel production and fuel usage in these combustion engines. So I have a lot of gates here and um, I will go through exactly how they work. The goal with this setup was to keep the amount of fuel exactly at 25% and uh, well not more not less and make sure that the, all the overflow go into this tank. And uh, well, I stopped this redstone engine from from work. So these are uh, draining their internal fuel storage. And uh, then while uh, yeah, let's start with this one. So this is a setup where I will open and close the the pipes. You can do this with. Uh, with items and with energy and so on and also with fluids so what we'll, we're doing is we're detecting if we are less than 25% of fuel I specified that emit a red, red pipe signal if we are low and as you can see we are less we're somewhere around here is 25% so I'll put a red pipe signal over here and this red pipe signal means that we should close the pipe. So this pipe is not able to transfer any liquids because everything is supposed to go into here. But this is only valid at less than 25%. So if we are above 25%, we want to close this one. So I'm using this second gate on this pipe to do exactly that. If we don't have a red pipe signal, that means everything is okay, we have 25% of fuel, then we should close this. And if we have a red pipe signal, that means that we want to get fuel into here, so open this gate. When you're working with open-close, you really need to make sure that you have conditions to handle both open and close, because you can't really say that Pay signal means closed and then take for granted then no signal means open because it won't change from closed and when you do that. So you have to have both close and open on both places. This is the exact same thing but with a blue pipe signal. Uh, so I can have the, the setup just... It's a copy. So here you can see that the blue pipe signal means close and open, and over here we have the close and open. So now if we turn this on, let's see, then we're starting to get everything flows into this one. So we're filling, filling up, and once we reach 25%, this gate will open. Let's see, that it should be any second now. There we have it. Now this one is closed, you can see here, no signal, close the gate, or close the pipe. 
So now we are going over here and as you can see here, we have no red pipe signal and it's open for open for business. And the uh, the liquid the liquid movement, I mean it it goes back and forth and it will search for it will search for an open pipe. And let's see this one blue pipe is open and this one is closed. And now we're starting to fill up. So you could see that the pipe was going back and looking for another inventory and it was going over here again. And now when we have 25% and 25%, these two oops, wrong one. These two are closed. Closed. And these two are open. And once oh, both of these are open, the fuel will find its way over here. But as you can see, it was quite slow on updating. The, the gates are fast, but the pipes are not very fast. The liquid goes over here and then goes back over here. And I don't know what happens over here. And then it tries to find a new path. So it's not really, not really fast. And the longer this is, the worse it gets. So it's a, quite, quite okay for this very short, well, this small distance. Are you open? Yes, you're open. So it should flow down this path. I, uh, I hope there's not anything wrong with the mod update. It uh, might be that. I had similar, yeah, okay, now you can see, now it's flowing. I had to uh, replace all these pipes to make things work again after the mod update. So, uh, but now it works. And fuel is flowing into here. So then let's take a look on the other side. Here, this one is... Yeah, these ones should work just fine. Oh, we had no water for some reason. Anyway, we have that energy produced from these two. They are used. They are going to both this pump and over to this pump. And of course, the refinery as well. So it's a completely what do you call it? It's a, it's a closed system that will take care of itself and all the excess fluid, fuel will go into the, uh, into the big tank over here. So this gate over here will say that if the tank is empty, then I'll emit a red pipe signal. And it will only be empty when we have no fuel. Because all, or oil, because all the fuel will be pumped away out over here. And this one, let's see, we can take a look at this. If this tank is full, this, uh, this pump, if that one is full, that means it can't put out any, uh, more, uh, any more fuel into here, then this one will emit a red pipe signal. So both these will emit a red pipe signal when it's supposed to stop. So we simply have a gate over here that says, if we don't have a signal, then keep the engines running. Okay. That's quite easy. So that if we're full here, stop. If we are empty here, stop. And this will auto, auto fill up everything to 25% at all times. You, you don't have to do this, you can just have them filling up them to 100%, but I kind of wanted to try it out and see if we could just... Well, why do we need a full engine? We want this fuel to be uh, perhaps go to our main base, so everything connected to this tank can be filled up to the, to the limit at all times. But these ones, they don't need to. We can all have 25%, that's, uh, that's okay. 
But as you could see, it, well, first of all, it's a fun build. I want to try it out and I want to test the mechanics of open and close. That's the important part. It's kind of slow. It requires a lot of gates. So then I tried to fix that problem. Here you can see the, uh, the exact same thing, but in a much larger setup. And if we were to have only red and blue, and then start with red here again, then the red on this, this section would connect to this one. And everything would just be a mess. So we need to have three colors. So you can see we have green down there. So we're using red, blue, green, red, blue, green. And it's the exact same thing as on top of the other contains, send, and so on and so on. But here we really noticed that it was very slow. So we can actually set this up again. Since this is the first one, this should fill up directly. We have a creative tank here, so this will up at all times. So now this one is closed and this one will be filled up. So in my head, I thought when I first designed this, I thought that, well, this will just fill up this and this and this, but not really because it will, then the liquid goes back and I guess it doesn't don't have anywhere to go. So it goes back again and then it starts to fill the next one. And now it's time for the third one and then it goes back and it's probably tries every, every section. So it's not really that fast. So I tried to look for a new setup and I came up with this and this is even, it's very fast and it's very, actually very, <laughs> very small. So this is a much better setup and I will rebuild the one up there in just a second. We are using the, this one, uh, the iron fluid pipe. It's also called a valve pipe. And when we set a, uh, let's see, I wanted to have the iron and gate. Yep, so these two are used. So now we can check that this pipe can be controlled in different directions. So here it's east and north. So if we now remove all these, you can see they have 25% in each and every one. And are we finished over here yet? No, this is just the leftovers from before. We're still not done over here. So uh, not really that fast. Let's see if we can do this with this one. So filling up, filling up, and then it's time for this to fill up. And the next one, so you can see this is very fast to fill up. So we can go over here. Less than 25% open east and at all times basically have the north in uh, open. Quite easy, right? So if we have a less than 25%, we should open the east direction and that's that direction. And when we don't have, when we have more than 25%, then the east will be closed. So fuel will just go over here. Very easy, let's rebuild this one, even though I liked the idea. It's not really perfect. So we only need two pipes and we need two gates and we'll set less than 25 open west it's that direction and if we have fluid in pipe in tank then open the north that's that direction i don't think the second one is that critical i just want it to be open almost uh, at any time Oops, I need to place that one. No.
like that. Fluid in tank. So now you can see both are open. It's time to fill, refill. No, not this one, but this one needs a refill because the west is open. And now we can connect it. So nothing will go here until we have finished this one. And it's done now. So we only have the north open. Quite a small, quite a slim setup. It's the first time I use the iron fluid pipe. So uh, I could replace the big and inefficient <laughs> contraption that I had over here. You see, we're still not done. It's, uh, yeah, it's probably stuck somewhere. I don't know why. Anyway, much better to have it like this and uh, we achieved the same goal, I think. And well, but we also learned how to open and close. So that was also the goal. So yeah, that's it for this video. I will do more of these gate tutorials or examples. It's hard to make one big tutorial on all gates and all the functions. So they will probably be in this style and I hope you will enjoy that. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.